Mm. Man, so this week has been crazy. That's one thing that's been going on this week. People talking about Bethune-Cookman University and how bad the conditions are at that school and like football players having to share helmets, uh, their pads and stuff being all moldy. They showed pictures. The beds were moldy. The hats were moldy. It was disgusting. I didn't even know it was like that. I'm going to be honest with you. I've never really been inside campus, uh, Bethune-Cookman campus like that, but I've been on the campus a lot. Just not in the dorm buildings. But, bro, that shit was disgusting. Now, is that why the, the new coach got mad? So, recently, Bethune-Cookman uh, was in the process of hiring Ed Reed, who is Hall of Fame, um, one of the greatest safeties that's ever put on a uniform in the NFL. And he was following after Deion Sanders' playbook of, like, going to a HBCU that needs work. So he went to Cookman, and um, he was, like, on a golf cart, and they were picking up trash. And he's like, man, I'm frustrated with the school because they aren't really matching me with the funding. They're not really meeting me where we need to be at to try to get this to where we need to go. Oh. And he's like... <clears throat> A lot of people are saying he's wrong for that, for like outing the school. Now, this is the thing, and I was just talking to you, Dave, about it. And I'm not talking about your friend and their personal business, but if this is a business and I'm getting paid and like my job rests on how well I recruit kids, I need to bring them to something to recruit. So I'm going to need you guys to get this in order and now expeditiously. Like, what the fuck are we even talking about? Yeah. Why are we arguing about spending money on shit? It's crazy. And didn't yeah. you say yeah. it just, no, not you, but someone told me that they just got like 19 million last year. No, 17 million. What? And like uh, federal funding? Yeah. Hmm. That's, that's, that's your boy Trump. Yeah. <laughs> woo, woo. Woo, woo. But yeah, like, you know, that's a smaller school, you know, and if you're trying to like really recruit top players that could go to UF or FSU or Miami. Yeah, they ain't going to want to come to some moldy That's what I'm saying. campus on the outskirts of the hood from, in Daytona. And he's from Miami, so he can get a lot of players to come up here. But, bro, the, like, you go to Alabama facilities, it looks like the NFL, like the Rams or something. See, but them being uh, what HS... HBCU. HBCU. They can't, can, being that they're smaller, how can they make as much money as, like, University of Alabama or the Gators? Um, so the money is basically made on like wins and funding and like alumni and stuff. So pretty much like you got like University of Southern California and then you have all the people that graduated from there that donate back to the school and stuff. It's a lot of people. And then you also have that they win national championships and stuff like that. So like a lot of HBCUs will play like one division one team throughout the year and like if they win they could like as they win a couple times if they go undefeated throughout the season they could make their way to like the national championship and they can even get like bumped up if you just keep winning you can get bumped up type shit. so they can play like bigger schools though too yeah like every year university of miami plays bethune cookman and they mm. destroy them but if <laughs> cookman won it would change some stuff hmm if Ed Reed came to book Cookman and they beat, because he went to University of Miami. He's one of the best University of Miami kids ever. And Miami's not that good right now. So, like, Cookman should be able to beat him. But, you know, uh, you know, I, if you go even to a gas station, you're going to see, like, a Gators hat that's officially licensed from the Gators, FSU hat. You know, they're making money off of that. I've never seen a, a BCU hat at the gas station. Um, They have them... On uh, Cookman Road, Bethune, like right there by Second the half, local yeah. area. But I think that's that's. I mean, they have them in Daytona, some places, but I not. Guess. I guess they got them like, Walgreens. Hmm. I just feel like they don't make as much, so maybe you know, being a little harsh on them for that. But if they're getting federal money too, but didn't you say something about like people were accusing some of the upper people of like stealing some of that money? Yes, a lot of people were being accused of stealing the money. But mm. my, my thing is, it's like, I think this is very important to say, like, I think some of the cleanest people I know don't have a lot of money. 
you know, like 